Technophonia is, is really several things. It's, it's an ensemble of mixed instruments, so they're involving acoustic instruments and also um, music technology. So we're using specific music technology, sound beams and skoogs, brain fingers, running notion, and also a whole orchestra of, of acoustic instruments. fascinates me about composing is doing something that's not comfortable so trying to find something that's difficult a difficult way of working in a way forcing yourself out your comfort zone so you can then sort of um, I don't know almost reinvent the wheel every time you start writing music working um, with instruments that haven't really been used in this way before or rather trying to find a way in which we could sort of incorporate acoustic um, and sort of these electronic instruments. that make you feel, Stephanie, coming to the rehearsals and uh, playing? A bit. Yeah. Made you? Uh, 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 uh. Happy. So you get as clear as you can. Uh, uh. Happy. What was the most difficult thing to begin with? Uh, Getting it in a... She's, she's trying to tell you at an angle, so let's see if we can get because you changed. There's something getting the scoop positioned, yeah? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. what, what happened all the time, it kept, it kept moving all over, okay, yeah, that's right. The biggest challenge has been staying in time. It's just a very, it's different music and I'm not quite used to playing this kind of music. So, but yeah, no, it's been really good. It's a really interesting piece and like, it's amazing to play something that's so different from what I usually would play. It's just a completely different experience. Yeah. that Drake would be coming in and we would be playing at the Olympics and everyone was like whoa so um, it, was, it was pretty a big thing and we practiced hard for it and the rehearsals went great and uh, it was a good time. Sound beam is an invisible beam that I play, and if I get the right beam, it makes a sound or a note. And the hand sonic is basically samples of other instruments that we can use if I hit the right buttons. A bit nervousness, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it if we work hard and pay attention, just get it done. Yeah, the is 
great Oliver and um, he's really enthusiastic and yeah it keeps everyone going. Especially with my reading music, um, it's been excellent for me. Just, and a lot of it I had been sight reading at the start, so that was all really great, yeah. Can you give me? So Chris Jackwin is playing Brain Fingers, and Brain Fingers is a very interesting instrument. It's, it's basically a headband with six sensors that pick up the electrical activity from uh, any muscle activity. So you can play it with your jaw or your eyebrows. Through, through those tiny jaw clicks, um, Chris is effectively conducting a score that he's prepared using Notion software, so he's written all the parts out and then decided sort of where he wants uh, certain bits to be louder or quieter and then he just clicks at his jaw at the right time, uh, which for him is actually a great challenge because it's, it requires great stillness and steadiness, which is one thing he finds, he finds difficult to do. My name is Chris Jackwin. I play piano and control a New Orleans street band. Uh, this I found the secret cakewalk challenging because it was new style to perform. Techno from was life changing, fun and educational. Thank you. That's perfect. I think that's everything we need.